What's up, YouTube? Wired Zero here on a Friday night, just about 11 o'clock. Had a busy week. I wanted to get more videos in, uh, testing antivirus programs against the WannaCry, but I did the best I could. I appreciate all the comments everyone's left. That was awesome. You know, let me just backtrack a little bit. So Friday, when this news broke, that's, you know, when I found out about it. So Saturday morning, when I went into the place where I work at, uh, my main priority was making sure everything was patched. Every Windows computer had the uh, correct security patches implemented. Okay, Windows machines only. Again, Windows machines only. So everything was up to date. Everything had all the latest Microsoft updates. All right. And I didn't have time to work with the ransomware yet. So when I got my hands on it on Sunday, I played with it in a controlled network, like I said in my video that I made on Sunday. Okay, and I actually had an infected Windows 7 machine on a virtual network, a virtual network within a virtual, I use VirtualBox, I'm on Linux, so I use VirtualBox, that's just my choice, and I had a couple Windows 7 machines attached to the same network, one being infected, and I could not get this ransomware to deliver itself over the network, okay? Now, of course, Every IT person out there should be securing everything. You have ports you could block to prevent what they're talking about, and you could be disabling the SMB um, version one, version two, version three, all right, on these Windows operating systems, all right? So you should have done that anyway. I'm not saying that. But as of the personal computer user out there, I think there was a lot of fear mongering, all right, that took place. And I didn't really want to freak people out on it. I just basically, you know, obviously people know they need to make backups. I wasn't going to be redundant on what people are talking about or going to explaining what this is. I just wanted to present the facts and what happens when you execute it. Because I could only get it to work when I executed it. That's my, all the videos I made this week. I made the malware bytes uh, against the ransomware. I had Windows 10, uh, someone wanted me to do that with the latest updates with Bitdefender, and that succeeded, um, Avast, and yeah, I'm, by the way, I'm not the CEO of Avast, and I did not make the WannaCry, WannaCrypt ransomware, that wasn't me, that was funny, the comment that was left. So, with all that said, I figured, let, let's go ahead and, and, and go to the comments, um, I'm not going to read them all, obviously, but there were some good ones. What if the Avast is behind all of this to make people download or buy their antivirus? This is by SDS, the comment left on the video. Um, this guy might be the CEO of Avast and the creator of the virus. Pure marketing. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I doubt, I highly doubt that the uh, CEO of Avast has... the uh, the Hot Wheels collection. I should, uh, maybe, you never know, you never know. Anyway, I'm probably dragging a little bit on this, but uh, does this affect Android devices? I saw this comment. I didn't get a chance to read them all, but I saw this one. And uh, no, at this point, I'm not aware of it affecting any Android devices out there or iPhones or the Mac OS in general. Cool video. All right, Jamie Rose 252 writes, cool video. Can you try it with Norton Security to see if Norton can fight it off with Windows from scratch? Fresh start. That's exactly what I'm going to do with this video. So this is going to be Norton with just a fresh install of Windows 7 Professional with uh, Norton downloaded and installed. And I'm going to go ahead and execute the WannaCry, WannaCrypt, whatever you want to call it, ransomware. So let's go ahead and start here. Norton versus the WannaCry ransomware. All right, here we go. We have our uh, Windows 7 machine with no updates. So let's go ahead and go to the website and download the software. I have a strong suspicion that Norton is going to win in the ring here, but uh, for my viewers out there who requested this, let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and run Norton. 
have to say the Norton install is much more fluent than the Avira install. Malware Bytes is up there. The Vast is up there. So far, Norton's looking pretty good, too. I'm going with the, the latest versions that they have available to download to either do their trial or their free versions. Someone asked me what what kind of microphone you use. I, I use the uh, Audio Technica um, 2020. It's a great mic. It's a killer mic. I highly suggest it. We are protected. Let's see how protected we are, people. Right, let's go ahead and move the WannaCry ransomware over to the desktop. All right. Drum roll. And let's run it. Look at that. It's a no-go. It's a no-go. Norton, you win. You win. You win in the ring. I'll even, I'll even try it again. But Norton blocked it. No Windows security updates whatsoever. Default. Fresh install of Windows 7, and Norton blocked it without even touching the application, just having it installed. So there you go, folks. All right. Hope you guys have a great Friday night. I'm going to plan on doing a little bit more technical video on blocking ports and disabling the SMB. And until next time, thanks for watching. Wire Zero out.